Kenya's capital Nairobi was today a ghost town with only a few businesses opening thanks to the ongoing anti-government protests. This after some streets turned into battleground between anti-riot police and officers and protesters as they engaged each other in running battles. Many expressed fear of incurring heavy losses due to the chaos as our reporter Fred Kagonye reports. Businesses in Kenya's capital Nairobi remained shut with a few that opened forced to close down. As the running battles between protesters and police escalated, the streets were mainly ghost towns and where there were people, tear gas canisters and the sound of live and rubber bullets rent the air. Some hawkers getting an easy kill by selling masks. Boda Boda operators not left behind as they watched protesters make their way into different parts of the city. The numbers that took to the streets on Tuesday were smaller compared to last week. Those who turned up were caught between the various groups, many of whom were targeting businesses to loot. <laughs> the running battles only meant one thing to these traders who resorted to using sticks to prevent their businesses from being looted. And with the help of police, the crowds did not swell in the areas. As the days go by, it remains to be seen whether things will be different. Fred Kangonye, KT News. Nairobi. And in Mombasa, things were not different. Two people were shot and injured by a civilian during.